you've seen these, these facts, right? That if I say differentiate uh, c times some function f of x, right? This is the same as c times the derivative of f at, at x, yeah? I mean, these are sort of reasonable derivative rules, right? The derivative of a constant times a function is the constant times the derivative of the function. You maybe know that rule, but I mean, let's do some example to see sort of why something like this should be true. So, uh, so here's an example. Take a look at a function f of x, x squared. Right? You know the derivative of this function. Okay, the derivative of this function is, is 2x. Now, what does that mean? Right? That means that uh, for a given value of x, if I wiggle that value of x, the output wiggles by about two times that value of x. But really concretely, right, the derivative of this function at 3 is 2 times 3 is 6. Right? And the function's value at 3 is 3 squared, which is 9. But if I wiggle 3 a little bit, like 3.01, right, what is the function's value then? Well, uh, you take 3.01, you square it, right, and you get 9.0601. Right? So the input changed up by a little bit, 0.01 more, and the output changed by six times that amount. A little bit more than six times, but about six times that, that amount, right? The input change of 0.01 was magnified in the output by about six times. And if you take a look, right, at the derivative uh, of this function at three, it's six, right? And that's, that's not a coincidence, right? The derivative at three is recording how much wiggling three will, will affect the output. Six times as much because the derivative is, is, is six. Now, what if this function weren't just uh, f of x equals x squared, right? What if it was you know, g of x equals, I don't know, 3x squared, right? Well, then I know what the derivative of g of x is, right? It'd be 6x, right? But why, I mean, why is that sort of a, a, a reasonable thing? Well, let's, let's take a look at the same kind of deal as, as we did over here, right? I can take a look at a specific value, like I can plug in 3, right? And when I plug in 3 into this derivative, I get 18, right? If I plug just 3 into this function, right, well, that's 3 times 3 squared. Well, 3 times 3 squared, that's 3 times 9, that's 27, right? And what happens if I plug in something a little bit more than 3? Right? Well, 3.01 into this function, right? If I plug in 3.01, I'd get 3 times 3.01 squared, which is 27.1803. And then you look at that and you're like, wow, I mean, this sort of makes sense, right? The derivative of this function is 18 at the point 3. And if I wiggle the input of 3 up by a little bit, the output is increased by 18 times as much. I mean, you know, approximately, right? So I increase the input by a little bit, and the output is increased by 18 times as much. And not coincidentally, the derivative of this function is, is 18, right? And I hope that kind of makes sense then why there's rules like this uh, constant multiple rule, right? I calculated this derivative by just taking 3 times the derivative of f of x. And that makes sense, right? I mean. If I wiggle the input to x, the output wiggles by uh, about 2x times as much, right, around the point x. But g is three times the function f, right? So if I wiggle the input to g, I expect the output to be wiggled by three times as much. You know, that's exactly what I see. So hopefully these kind of examples sort of convey to you, you know, maybe more of the meaning of differentiation.